And after giving the OK for many businesses to reopen, the state of Georgia now faces its next big obstacle in containing the spread of the coronavirus, voting. Shanu Hurst spoke with the director of elections in Fulton County about what to expect if you plan to vote in person for this year's primary. Like most events during the COVID-19 pandemic, Georgia's primaries were delayed, pushed from May 19th to June 9th. Monday kicks off early voting. Fulton County's Director of Registration and Elections, Richard Barron, says they've made adjustments, scaling back to just five voting sites and reducing hours. When we're open 9 to 4.30 from May 18th to June 5th, Monday through Friday, and then we'll be closed on Memorial Day, but we'll be open Saturday, May 30th as well, 9 to 4.30. Cobb County is on the same page. Having fewer poll workers and the processes that we're going to have to follow to make sure it's safe for everybody. We did only have the opportunity to open a few places this time. Cobb County officials say they had poll workers worried about safety, but leaders are working hard to ensure their safety. We're going to have the protective masks and gloves and a lot of the other sanitizing um, products out. So um, we're going to make it as safe as we can for everybody. Barron says safety is their priority too, and they're encouraging people to vote with absentee ballots if possible. He says so far, Fulton County has more absentee ballot requests than the actual turnout in the 2016 general primary. Right now, we, we've processed more than 108,000 applications, and we still have approximately 22,000 applications to process. Barron says there will be drop boxes across the county for those mail-in ballots, which have to be in by 7 p.m. on June 9th. But for those who are voting in person, he asks to be mindful of the COVID-19 safety measures. We are asking everyone to wear a face mask or face covering when they come to vote. 